Good morning, folks. I've just been awoken from a phone call, then a slap on the wall, then a, f then a text message because Kevin's leaving. He's gonna get to go home. He's so tired, he's not that excited. <laughs> I'm tired. I just want to go. I, I want to be there. I've been being. I should have been there two days ago. I've been being there <laughs> for two days. I've been being. <laughs> oh, awesome. So, everybody, even though this will be tomorrow, take it by the cabin. If you folks are following me on Twitter, you'd know. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm not really going out anywhere or doing anything today, but it's supper time. And I feel like I've been robbing you of any entertainment today. So I'm gonna make supper fun. I am going to cook it clean and dance to it. Kinda. What can I say? Mad skills. <laughs> I just got wet. <laughs> Actually, I blame the dancing and randomness on that truck there. I had the door open, now my apartment smells like gas. Awesome, huh? So, still continuing with my meal. Chicken strips and fries, home fries in my deep fryer that I just cleaned the grease in so it looks all shiny and new. It's gonna be awesome. Then I think tonight I'm actually gonna do some writing and maybe go on the hunt for techno program or techno sounds that I can load into, preload into a program that I already have so that I can try and make a couple songs that have been beating in my head that I wanna put on YouTube. I did, say chick I did say chicken strips, right? Holy hell, look at the size of this one. Look at, like, Holy shit. So I just checked the mail and uh, I got this. It's a Christmas card from Chantel Telly, as most of you know her. And uh, I opened it up and <clears throat> it was for a lot of people. So this is a shout out to everybody you see here. Very Merry Christmas to everyone. Dan, of course, Sotrin, Erina, Tara, John, Chris, Topple, Brad, Rhea, Erica, Mike, Jeff, Nicole, Jackie, Joey, Gabe. Let it glow, let it glow, let it glow. Merry Christmas. And to, and to everyone else to Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> to everyone else, too, including those I've never met, like Kevin and Tiffany. I miss you, Halifax. Love, Telly. So there you go, guys. Aw, oh, Christmas spirit. Telly says hi to everybody. Everybody should give her a shout-out in the comments right now. Or uh, give her a shout-out on Facebook if you ever add it. And if anybody who doesn't watch my vlog who is in this list should be subscribed... So you guys should uh, find them, seek them out, show them this, get them to subscribe... and. Hi! Hey you! <clears throat> Are you trying to sleep? <laughs> the camera's gonna eat you, kitty. It's gonna steal your soul. Oh, poor kitty trying to sleep. Me getting in your way. So by the time you guys are watching this, it'll be the 23rd, December 23rd, and I got I can't help but think, did you guys get all your Christmas shopping done yet? How many of you people are going to be stuck out there like suckers tomorrow and definitely on Thursday out there in the middle of nowhere, and by the middle of nowhere I mean into a giant throng of people who get more retarded when you add more people to it. I think that's a comforting thought to me that I actually did shopping at all this year and that I got done already and have already given my presents out. So to you suckers out there, good luck. So I'm about to nestle in and watch uh, Public Enemies. The movie just hit DVD not too long ago. I didn't get to see it in theaters, so we'll see how all that turns out. I got a feeling that though I'm going to love Johnny Depp, I'm going to hate the portrayal of this story. Have you guys ever felt like... <clears throat> 
whenever you're being forced to do something you don't really want to do, you uh, is when you seem to operate the best. Like when I'm at work and I'm pushing carts or doing go backs, doing something where I'm not talking to the public anyway, something that keeps my full attention. I always find myself like motivated and interested and all I can think of is man I really want to play guitar, man I really want to write. And then I get at home and I'll start watching a movie or something and I'll pull up my pen and paper and I'll just stare blankly at the movie. I'll just forget about writing or I'll go on MSN, I'll be doing nothing else. I'll, sometimes I'll just stare at the screen. Like do you feel monstrously unmotivated in your own home? Does that happen to you? Cuz like it's been a real problem with me for the last few months. It just keeps happening no matter what it is I try and do or no matter you know if I cut those things out if I don't go on MSN or if I uh, don't watch a movie then I'll wind up playing a game or talking to Kevin or you know finding something else to occupy my time eating or making supper or whatever it is I just lose all motivation once I get through back into my own home is it weird to you guys like is it strange like, I don't consider writing or playing guitar like work, so it's not really something I don't want to do. But, at the same time, I still don't ever do it. I don't know. Does that happen to you? If it happens to you, comment. I don't want to be the only fucking crazy person in the world. Just got finished watching Public Enemies. I know that I was making nachos and talking to you guys a minute ago, but that was just a break. The movie seemed long. Like, really fucking long. Um, I think it was one of those movies, again, where... I was kind of hoping for a different outcome because Hollywood likes to ruin outcomes and everything else, but I guess not in this. It just wound up being what it should have been, kind of. It wasn't terrible. Uh, everybody did a decent job of it. I mean, it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. It's not exactly what I expected it to be, but it was a pretty fucking good movie. Though, I don't know. The, the ending in my opinion, could have been a little done a little differently. But anyway, it is past midnight, so I'm going to edit this and put it up for you guys so you can see it first thing in the morning, and then I'm going to go to bed because I have an early day. Good night. Oh, one more thing. No word on Kevin yet. Uh, I don't know if he's died, but he has a message to me, and I don't think he's going to be any place where there's a medium for him to message me with, at least for today or tomorrow. So won't know if he's dead or not until Christmas. <laughs> Good night, guys.